And I give the floor to the representative of the Russian Federation. Thank you, Mr. President. I wish to note at the outset that uh, the signing of the Constitutional Declaration was an important step uh, towards the stabilization of the situation in Sudan over the long term. We note the mediation efforts undertaken by Ethiopia and the African Union in the negotiations process. This was an embodiment of the African solutions to African problems premise. At the same time, it is incumbent upon us to pay tribute to the Sudanese, the Sudanese who managed to surmount their differences and to reach agreement amid unyielding external pressure, the purpose of which was not to help the parties sit down at the negotiating table, but exclusively to tailor the political landscape in Khartoum to their own parochial interests. Turning to the situation in Darfur, we've observed a striking improvement in the security situation. Further, we note a certain degree of normalization in the humanitarian sphere. The overall momentum in those areas uh, which blue helmets have already left remains unchanged. And most importantly, an adverse security trends have not emerged. Sporadic clashes in the Jabulmara uh, region between the government forces and the Sudanese Liberation Army Abdul Wahid Noor which remains the main spoiler of the peace process, does not change this assessment. In this connection, we deem it necessary to stay the course, to move towards the phased drawdown and withdrawal of UNAMID. We trust that dialogue with the Sudanese authorities will help to set the stage for this and will help to determine parameters for a steadfast international support for the peace process in Darfur. There are challenges faced by Darfur at present. These are peace-building challenges, not peacekeeping challenges. The time is ripe to focus on achieving recovery and economic development in this province, and this at present needs to be the priority. Now, with respect to the activities of the ICC on the Darfurian track, we have read the most recent report of the prosecutor, Ben Suda, uh, as was the case in the past, we have not seen any progress. And as a consequence, our assessments and approaches remain unchanged. Thank you, sir. I thank the representative of the Russian Federation for his statement.